Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Entice. Today we'll talk about 10 kinds of people you met in Roblox Adopt Me. Let's head into it. Adopt Me. Adopt Me is a roleplay Roblox game created by Dreamcraft. The game features two roles, Baby, who gets taken care of, and Parent, which cares for the baby. Other features include Obies, a trading system, and customizable houses. It was created by New Fizzy, who took charge of scripting and leading the development team, and Beat Think, who took charge of building and being the creative vision for the game. Since its inception, the game has been considered to be one of the most popular games on Roblox, due to how long it has stayed at the top spot of the front page, reaching between 200,000 and 600,000 concurrent players nearly every day. It's also the most played game on Roblox, amassing over 20 billion place visits. On April 4, 2020, Adopt Me surpassed Meep City in place visits. Number 10. Ironic Players There are many older people that play Roblox ironically to laugh at the bad graphics or at the immature behavior of little kids in the chat. They don't actually enjoy the game, but enjoy partaking in, but enjoy partaking in kid activities because they secretly miss the time when they were younger and didn't have to worry about the existential dread that is being a grown-up. They might be mean and might lash out from time to time, but keep in mind that they don't mean any bad. <laughs> any bad, what? And are just frustrated by their own existence and decide to take it out at happy people. Just don't mind them if they are cruel. Number 9. Leader Some players are simply natural leaders that lead a certain group of people and are very charismatic. Good leaders can inspire their fellow players to do better. That's why they're well-liked and people would want them to become the leader. They are also great at creating creative strategies and how to merge pets in the most effective way. They aren't always the best players but can surely form a team to really get that grind on, if you know what I mean. Number 8. Memers Memers are players that have a heavy sense of humor and seek more into comedy. They are liked by the community. An average memer types memes into the chat most of the time. They sometimes, for example, spam stereotypes of the country they are from to entertain their fellow players. They're mostly not useful but are hilarious to be around. Number 7. The Tryhards We all know tryhards, which are those that try their hardest to win games and are likely are the one doing the work. They're a bit overreacting to any friendly they see. They can be annoying, but we also love them a lot. Number 6. Noobs They are very important. They will get older and supply the future generations. The people who already have Robux and have accessories were once noobs. And the noobs will eventually buy Robux. It's a cycle. They even make good memes. Number 5. People who complain about guests Man, I would never treat guests like a bad guy. You know what I will do to them? I will welcome them and greet them high. And welcome to the game. Hopefully you will enjoy and relax. Guests are nice, but when it comes to bullies and etc. I will stay and not talk bad. I'll just ignore them. Number 4. Online Daters The Package 2.0 invented this new thing called online dating. It could just be roleplay, but people use animations to do inappropriate actions. Online daters could have also invented judging, for example. If one person has a type of default hair, they get called noobs by online daters. These people ruin Roblox. It makes me uncomfortable that they do those inappropriate things. You know, but it makes me uncomfortable that they do that in a game full of kids. Number 3. Scammers This is a huge problem. I remember back in 2012-2013, there was a lot of scammers in the comments section of games, decals and clothing. But now that's nothing, because there's like times 900 the amount of scammers of the ones in 2012-2013. to But this time, these are bots and are literally everywhere that has a comment section. I'm sorry, but I don't want to participate in your virus. Number 2. Cyber Bullies I was playing Adopt Me and this girl kept accusing me and everybody obviously voted me out. Then this guy Dan was just bullying me while well, I was dead. He said the stupidest insults I've ever seen. I could tell he was mad we voted him out because he celebrated it. I changed my mind but he found it was worth being influenced by Flamingo. Number 1. Exploiters Some are funny like Citizen. They died down. But once I was playing Adopt Me, they bypassed the filter and somehow kicked me from the game? Why? Because I stood up for myself and told him to shut up and that he thought it was so cool even though he wasn't. And they weren't actual admins. And this makes me so pissed off that they didn't get in trouble by the creator. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.